Do you need visitors that register for your site, visit protected pages? The Embraco membership is probably what you need. Let's go take a look. Hello everyone, and we are going to talk members in Umbraco today. So first off, um, if this is uh, your first video or early on and you haven't watched some of the others, you might want to turn around and go watch some of those. This one should be quick and easy, but first let's talk about what a member is. So a member on an Umbraco site is another way of saying external user. So somebody who's not going to log in and ever see any of this uh, back office. So a member would be somebody who might sign up on your site or maybe you uh, control their access through the front end only. They never, they, they may never even know about the back office. So uh, let's orient you as a developer to what you can expect here. So uh, right here in the tree, we've just got a few items here. We've got members, member types, and group types. Um, we're going to start with members. So members is uh, going to be where you're going to kind of look at the different um, users. And this is a list view. So when we click on one of these here, all members, you'll get uh, Stampy Long Nose here. Uh, Stampy is a famous YouTuber for the video game Minecraft. And if we expand this here, you'll see that we have member types. A so member types like a media type or a document type. In fact, if we click on the member, which you get default out of the box, you will see a bunch of fields here that are locked because these are non-negotiable. You get these whether you want them or not. Um, so think of this as profile information and just some basic information about passwords and things like that. Um, so yeah, so just, just keep that in mind. Uh, you can create your own uh, member type. So for instance, I have the 80s Action Stars member type and I created this myself. And when you create this, you get all that stuff again, non-negotiable, you just get it. What you can do is also add, say, a profile picture. And I don't think out of the box you're gonna get one of those, but this does work like uh, a image, or I'm sorry, a media type or doc type where we can come in here and we can say, give me a media picker. Maybe uh, right here. Let's go with a uh, let's go with media picker. Just make it kind of easy right now, and we can uh, save that. And notice that you have a new property here named profile picture. So now these aren't very useful unless you can actually create one of these. So uh, if we go up here to 80s action stars, uh, we can right click. Actually, you have to right click way up here, but we can create a member or a 80s action stars. And it's up to you whether you just want to take the default member for everybody on your site or you want to differentiate them with the 80s action stars. Keep in mind, though, if you add custom properties by creating your own member type here, you're going to have to keep track of the member type before accessing a property. Otherwise, it just won't be there. So if we create a 80s action star and we're going to go with Arnold, oh my gosh, how do we, Schwartz, Zen, a, oh boy. I think we're close. Hey, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. I, gosh, that's totally wrong, but whatever. Moving on. So here, um, so this, you'd only come here if you're manually creating a user. So um, you can put some comments in here. You've got this metadata. This is all read-only information here. But aha, here is our um, uh, profile picture. So we're going to go ahead and just upload one here. Yes, I normally do keep a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger on my desktop, if you believe that. Oh, and when we hit save, it's going to say, hey, you might want to notice over here. And over here on the Notice Me page is a Properties tab. It's got some more meta information. It tells you what the meta type is. And now we have to give him a username. So um, I'm just going to do Arnold S because I can't remember how to spell his last name. And we'll go with Arnold S at uh, Fitness that org because he's, he's probably still working out right so it, it auto generates a password here um i don't know that when you create this that it'll actually send any information to him so that's something you'll definitely want to research and then uh the password here um there's no way to preview it unless i kind of hack in here and change this with the inspector so we're not going to do that and as you can see down here this is a very important one here because uh, this is where you set the members group so I've created, over here on the left, a YouTuber's group, and Arnold's clearly not a, uh, a YouTuber. So I'm um, going to just save him for now with no groups. And all right. And then we're going to come down here and say, um, 
action heroes. That's my new. Is there an E? Not an E. I don't know. I guess there's an E for now. Okay. And that's all you do. You just create a group. There's no meta information here. And if I go back to my 80s action stars, go back into Arnold here, um, I can now make him a member of the YouTubers or the action heroes in this case. So we'll go ahead and save here. And while we're at it, I'm going to flip over to the member section here and look at Stampy Long Nose. And I just want to point out real quickly, yes, I cheated. I created something here. He's a member of YouTubers, but not of action heroes. But if we wanted to make him both, we certainly could, but for now we won't. And how is any of this um, useful? So if we come back out here to the content section, we can create a page and let's call this, oh, uh, let's call this our secret meeting page. If I can spell, you'll notice I can't ever spell. And we're just going to save that. So in general, um, somebody's able to get there if they have the URL. So let's lock this down. This is where public access comes into play here. And we, we kind of briefly talked about this over in the content video. And if we select the select here, we can say, okay, action heroes have access or YouTubers have access. So um, let's say we want both of them to have access. We just go ahead and move them both over. Now, if we try to hit update, um, it will force us into picking a login page and error page. So Umbraca does not ship with a, a default login page or an error page. So for the most part, you'll have to uh, create a page called login or whatever you want it to. But we do have an error page. And what the error actually is in regards to would be access denied. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So uh, the login page is kind of outside the scope of this video. This is more of an overview video. Um, which takes me to the documentation. Just briefly want to talk on that. Um, the member API, and you'll need to uh, learn how to render it with templates and uh, probably look into the C-sharp, has evolved over the years. Um, it's changed a lot. So you might have a little difficulty finding what the right path to uh, membership is in Umbraco. And again, we're not going to talk about that today, but uh, just be careful. But this is uh, essentially what you use the back office for. Now, one use case that you'll have, because if, if you're going to have people sign up on your site, you don't want them to. Uh, you don't want to have to them to email you, and you're going to put them in here manually, etc. So you're going to want to have a registration site, and you're going to want to kind of lock that down for uh, spam and bots and things like that. But what you can do is you can automate it here, so uh, that way you, you know you, you've got a nice site with lots of people, and they're and they're actually contributing. Uh, who can get into these um, protected pages here. Um, when a page is protected, you'll get a little icon down here showing you that this is a protected access or the public access is is denied, essentially. So real short video today. That's the members. It's, it's a deep concept. Just remember, these aren't users who log into the back office here. You do probably want to lock down this page here because if you would, were to delete one of these member types or the members, like whatnot that will have some consequences so you might want to keep that with trusted people you cannot lock down the tree to only certain uh functionality say so just just manage the users because the member types and the member groups those aren't individual permissions so anyway that's it that's membership in umbraco and good luck thanks bye